But tonight for y'all, I'm feeling y'all. I want to sell some merchandise for you. So I brought some shirts. Uh, but the only thing is, uh, my shirts have nothing to do with my comedy. They're the shirts I brought from the house. <laughs> Old baby. It's for ladies in the house, y'all. I wrote this piece because I love you guys so much. And this is called The Essence. The Essence. Can I get some snaps, y'all? <laughs> from your lips to your hips to your knees to your toes from your socks to your crotch where the tampons go damn I love you so it's like I run out of words to say when I think of you because there's just no damn way to summarize and betray to hesitate and delay I'm like the opposite of okay because I can't shake feeling this way damn I love women I thank God for women on earth to the grave from birth I'll always put you first and even though you annoy me with all that shit that you keep in your purse woman you quench my thirst matter of fact I really don't even need this book to spit this purse you see, because I generally understand why lesbians want to be a man and get a mouthful of all they can because you are a superstar and woman. I'm your number one fan. Matter of fact, I'm the president of your fan club. I'm in the front row yelling, let's go, with a big number one finger in the season ticket stub. And it's even greater love that I'm speaking of because you complete me so non-discreetly like newborns and chi cheese. And I swear, that coochie's better than the cinnamon rolls at CC's. Yeah, that shit is good. Have you ever had cinnamon rolls at CC's? <laughs> Baby, we're going to get her like baseballs and bats, pimps and slaps, G-strings and cracks. <laughs> Baby, we're going to get her like fat people and snacks. Matter of fact, we feel even better than that because if men are from Mars and women are from Venus, then take my ass to Venus so I can take that ass to penis. <laughs> know what I mean is? And then maybe we can stop by your anus. Thank you, that was the answer to that. It's funny to me how women are oblivious to the fact that their guy does that. Like, I actually had a friend of mine the other day, she was like, well, uh, I don't know if my boyfriend does that because he doesn't talk about it. So I don't know if he, I don't know if he masturbates. So then I was like, all right, well let's dig deeper. Um, uh, does he have hands or <laughs> not even two, just at least one hand with one finger, something that's gonna come. Out. So this is for all the dudes in the house. This is called "I Want to Put My Weenie in Your Butt." my weenie in your butt. <laughs> Say what? <laughs> That's right. In your butt. Now girl, I know you might be a little scared or unprepared to share that part of your anatomy, but baby, don't be mad at me and consider this profanity. Just relax and think of my body as your canopy. Organically, so now mechanically, when two become one like Miley Cyrus and Hannah Montana be. See, girl, that booty is like a magic lamp, and my weenie is the genie. And I can give you three wishes that would taste so delicious, taco, fish, zucchini. See, I want to treat that ass like some fondue, and dip all my snacks inside of you. Show you some things that you never knew, because you can have it right if you just had the right point of view. Because I know how you look at it. Like it's probably too awkward or uncomfortable. But see, I'm all about quality and compassion. I'm not just about smashing. And when that booty gets the clap,
just keep on going like that never happens. <laughs> see, baby, it's just I believe that we're soulmates, and I want you to see the bigger picture. So please think with your heart about a weenie in the butt. <laughs> and while you're at it, please also think about a threesome with your sister. Thank you. My name's Ernesto Lopez, y'all. Thank you, Ernesto.